Hey guys, back at you with another video today. Uh, I want to talk about shoulders for a little bit. You know, with shoulder impingement or, uh, you know, frozen shoulder, we can only lift our arms up this high or we're having some pain. Uh, first of all, watch how you sleep. A lot of us sleep like this on our side with that arm up. That's just going to cause that pin, pin, impingement just to keep going longer and longer. Also, when we sleep on our side, sometimes we put a little too much pressure on this shoulder and, and we're putting pressure this way, so we're causing more impingement on the opposite side. So try to be aware of how you're uh, positioning yourselves. But let's say you've got some frozen shoulder and you're having trouble lifting up this high and you need to basically, you want more range of motion. Uh, what we basically have to do is you have to activate it. Most of the time, what I've learned from my clients and just experience with dealing with shoulder is, is the muscles around here are just dead. And what that means is they're inactive, they're not working. So we need to activate it. So I'm gonna give you two isometric exercises that is perfect to activate this and we'll be able to uh, lift our arm up higher. So if you're one of those people who can only go this high, go ahead and do that right now, test yourself, and then after these two exercises, see if you're even higher. So the first one is, we're gonna stand backwards first to get, not against the wall, we're about, um, my feet are about three inches from the wall. The only thing that's gonna be touching the wall is the back of my hands. Now, before, and I'm in good posture, before I do this, I pinch my shoulder blades together like I'm pinching a pencil. Now I'm gonna push the back of the wall down with my hands and press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and then I relax. Then I'm gonna go palms down or pinkies into the wall. First pinch those shoulder blades together and push the wall down. It's imperative that you keep perfect form, don't recruit any other muscles. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good. And relax. Now a little bit harder one is we flip it, we're going palms up with the thumbs. Okay, good posture. I'm still, feet are only two inches from the wall. Pinch the shoulder blades together and press that wall down. Only thing touching to the back of my, this is the back of my thumbs. And 15 seconds and relax. Good. Then we want to turn and switch it. Okay, I'm still two inches from the wall. I'm going palms in, pinch the shoulder blades together, and now I push that wall down. Hold that again for 15 seconds. Then we come here, palm, or, uh, sorry, thumbs in, press the shoulder blades together, press down. That one for 15 seconds. And the last one is pinkies in, palms up, press against the wall, and then press and hold. 15 seconds, okay? That one's perfect for activation. Second exercise is we're going to create a box. So I got a perfect 90 degree angle here, okay? Then I bring the other arm over and we're going to press and hold for four seconds against each other. One, two, three, four. And then we take the bottom hand, we go thumb up, press, one, two, three, four. Then we rotate the thumb all the way down and we press, one, two, three, and four. Then we just switch it and then we press it here, four seconds, thumb up, four seconds, thumb down, four seconds. It's always the bottom hand. Then we switch sides, create an L, come on top, press for four, press for four, press for four, and then we switch it. Press for four seconds, press for four seconds, and press for four seconds. And then relax, and then go ahead and check your range of motion and see if you're higher. Do about two to three sets of that, and you're gonna see yourself going higher and higher. Now with pain, we never work at an eight or nine or 10 pain. But sometimes when we need, people have issues, we need to work through a little bit of discomfort to activate those muscles. But know the difference between discomfort and pain. Okay, those are two exercises to help with your shoulders. They're isometrics. I'm gonna come back later with some more uh, videos on shoulders on how to get more range of motion that are more uh, active. Thanks very much.